Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fitting of me to do a what's in my travel makeup bag video and I am going to LA in around two days. I did just purchase a new makeup case and as I was packing, I thought it would be such a great idea to show you guys exactly what I'm taking with me. I am going to be there for around a week and although I would love to just bring my entire makeup collection with me to Los Angeles, unfortunately it's just not possible and I can't do that. So these are just my absolute favorite products that I know work for me and I know that I love and I trust. So although this is just kind of like a travel makeup bag video, it also is like my all-time favorite products. A few of these things are new, but definitely products that I've been loving and I know work really well for me. Personally, I love watching videos like these because they definitely help me know what to bring with me. I kind of like pack along while watching the videos because then I don't forget anything and it also helps with like organization skills as well. So I hope this video does help you guys and you guys find some things to put in your makeup bag. Before I do get into showing you guys what exactly is in this big bulky makeup bag, if you guys end up liking this video by the end and liking me, then please don't forget to this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys here. So if you guys want to see what exactly I'm bringing with me in my makeup bag, then please keep watching. <laughs> So I'm gonna start by telling you guys about my makeup bag itself. I literally just purchased this makeup bag like two days ago with Amazon Prime and it came in yesterday. So it's going to be my first time traveling with it, but I already know I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be like my go-to travel makeup bag like from here on out until it gets so damaged that I need to get a new one. And it was also pretty inexpensive in my opinion, so I will have it linked down below. But what I really like about this makeup bag is that it's definitely very handy because it has compartments on the inside which you guys will see later but it also has a top handle which makes it convenient just to hold it up here from the top handle but like I said I'm gonna have this link down below from Amazon for you guys but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so I can show you guys exactly how it looks on the inside as you guys can see it has a few dividers on the inside it did have an extra one um, I believe right here, but I ended up taking it out. You can take them out and kind of fix them to your liking and the way that works best for you. You could even take all of them out and you'd probably have more room that way. But personally, I kind of like the dividers because I feel like my stuff is a lot more, sorry about all the hand movements I'm doing in here. <laughs> I personally wanted to keep the dividers in it because I find that my stuff is a lot safer this way. I feel like if it's nice and tightly packed in the inside, then there's less of a chance of things breaking and rolling around and it's just a lot more secure. Um, but you could definitely take them out if you wanted more space, but I just usually have this laying right on top because for some reason, Hangover is ginormous and does not fit. I believe that they have a travel size. I might have to get one before I go, but I guess I'll go ahead and start with the top layer of this bag. I I think that this is what sold me on this makeup bag. It is so convenient, the fact that I can have my brushes and my makeup stored in the exact same bag. My old travel bag used to only fit some of my makeup, definitely not all of this makeup, and I would have to take a separate little bag for my brushes, and I love that it has this flap. So my brushes are nice and protected and secure in here. No brushes left behind, I guess. Um, as you guys can see, I have quite a few brushes in here, but all with good meaning. I feel like I just, I needed to bring the majority of my brushes. I'm usually a crazy overpacker, but this definitely helped me because I know that I do not need to bring any other makeup bag than this one. This can definitely by far fit all of my needs. There's only one thing that I'll show you guys later that did not fit in here, but literally everything that I need fits in this bag. So I'm gonna start off with my brushes on what brushes I'm bringing. I really only have three big face brushes. So this is the only contour brush I'm gonna be bringing with me. It's the Morphe M523. It's my favorite brush for contour. And the big fluffy brush that I'm gonna bring to dust away powder and apply all over face powder is the Morphe MB2. I'm also going to be bringing the Morphe MB4. This is my blush brush. And then only one highlighter brush, my all time favorite. It's the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. And then I went a little bit crazy on the eye brushes. I definitely don't need these two brushes. They're almost identical, but you know, there was room, so I convinced myself that I needed them. So these are my two um, favorite big fluffy crease brushes from Morphe, the Morphe E27 and the Morphe E23, I believe. These are great for an all over transition shade in the crease. 
And then I also have another crease brush right here. It is the Morphe M441. And I'm also bringing the Sigma, I believe it's the E25, but the name is rubbed off of it. It's kind of like the Morphe M433, and it's for more precise shades into the crease. I'm also bringing this blending brush right here from Sigma. It's been my favorite, 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 favorite crease brush. It is the Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush. I'm also bringing this Luxie brush for nose contour. It is the Luxie 207. This is the brush that I always use to carve out my brows. It's basically just like a really tiny flat concealer brush. I'm also bringing this brush for underneath my lower lash line, the Morphe M210. I'm bringing this Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush for my nose highlight, my inner corner highlight, and any small highlighting areas. This brush is definitely an optional brush that I just threw in there because I had more space. It's the Morphe M562. I usually use this if I'm doing a more precise, um, like a cut crease or a half cut crease. That way I can get more precisely in there. I'm also bringing a Sigma E15 Flat Definer for underneath my lower lash line, the Morphe E36 pencil brush. I'm bringing the Morphe M170-4 in case I want to cut my crease. I'm also bringing this Luxie 235 blending brush for my outer V. And last but not least, I'm bringing the Sephora flat concealer brush for shades on my lid in case I use a shimmer shade. That is the brush that I always go for. So definitely a ton of brushes. Um, if you personally don't feel like you need this many brushes, then definitely don't. Um, I'm just crazy and feel like I need like 500 brushes, but I always feel like I end up using a brush that I thought that I wasn't going to, or if I bring something just in case, I feel like I always end up using it. And I feel like if I didn't have it, then I would be upset that I didn't pack it. So, you know, you might as well just pack it just in case. There's also a zipper right here, if you guys can see, which I'm not gonna show you guys right now. I'm actually gonna leave it till last because it's mostly lippies. Um, but I also have a few other things that I'll show you guys at the end of this video, but it's definitely really convenient that there is a zipper right here so I can fit some things back there as well. So these things are definitely scattered pretty randomly, neatly, but not in any specific order. So right on top right here, I just have my Too Faced Hangover Primer. It's one of my favorite favorite primers. I also have a mini sample of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer that I've been testing out recently that I've really been liking. I know I'm a little bit crazy, but I am taking three foundations with me. Um, I just feel like I need to have selection and I love all of these foundations almost equally. Um, Maybelline Superstay probably the most, but I do love the other two as well. So I just felt like I might as well bring them. So the first foundation that I am bringing is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Mine is in the shade six in case you're curious, um, but I'm bringing this one in case I want more of a glowy luminous finish. I'm also bringing the YSL All Hours Foundation in case I want more of a natural to matte finish. This one is also a little bit lighter than my other foundations too. In case my self tan starts to wear off by the end of the trip, I'll have this one to use. I also really like it as well. Um, and it's definitely a little bit more full coverage in the Giorgio Armani. And lastly, my tried and true, the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This has been my go-to foundation lately. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I just end up wearing this foundation every single day I'm out there, but I brought the other two just in case, but I definitely love this foundation, so I had to bring it with me. To finish off this little section, um, I actually ended up throwing two random things in here that didn't fit in the zipper because the zipper's so full. I have a KKW lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Kimmy, and I also have some lash glue from Esquito Lashes. So in this compartment right here, the first thing I have laying right on top is just an eyelash curler. Again, it didn't fit in the zipper compartment, so I just laid it right on top, but I always need an eyelash curler. I have this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's just a white eye pencil in case I decide to put white eyeliner in my waterline. I do like doing that, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but I did bring it just in case. I also have my Black Beauty Blender, which has been ripped off at the top, but I still use it for my foundation on the other end. And I definitely wouldn't recommend putting your Beauty Blenders in a Ziploc bag, so I'm just gonna kind of lay them right on top. Um, if you have the Beauty Blender compartment that they come in, that would be really nice to place it in as well. Um, but I'm just gonna set it right here on top as well as this one. I also have some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder, just in case I want to set all around my 
my face. I have this little tub of moisturizer. It used to be the Tatcha Moisture Rich Silk Cream, but I used all of it and I figured it would be convenient for me to put my Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer in this container. That way I didn't have to take the whole thing. So that's what I have in here. I also have three concealers down here. I've been loving this concealer. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define, and I think it's a great dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna bring this with me. But I'm also, of course, bringing Tarte Shape Tape because I love Tarte Shape Tape. And I actually lied, I thought I had three concealers in here, but I actually have a brow gel down here at the bottom. It is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Gel. And then lastly, just kind of stuffed down there, I have the Mario Badescu Rosewater Facial Spray. It's a little travel size, it's almost empty. Um, it looks empty from that angle, but I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna take this with me. And I also need to get a setting spray tomorrow, hopefully a little travel size of the Urban Decay um, All Nighter setting spray, because I haven't had a good setting spray in a really long time, and I definitely wanna make sure I have that to take with me. So in this far compartment, I just have my Sigma 3D HD Blender. I've been loving this blender for concealer and baking. It's so convenient with the way that it's shaped, and it also blends things out so nicely, so I'm taking this with me. I also have two powders in the side right here, here I have the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, which I have also been loving. It's super inexpensive as well, but just to brighten up my under eyes. And I'm also taking this blush right here. It is the Sigma Corde Rosa Aura Powder. And it's just a really pretty blush that I feel like will go with a lot of looks that I decide to do. So in this compartment right here, I also have two pairs of lashes. I have the Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. These are my favorite lashes ever. I'm obsessed with them. I take them everywhere I go. And I also have my current favorite pair of more natural and flared out towards the end lashes. They are from the brand Esquito and I'm actually wearing them right now. I totally forgot. But if you guys have been watching my past few makeup tutorials, you guys would know what they look like, but they're just really pretty and winged out towards the end. And these are in the style Celestial. So in this back compartment right here, it has the perfect place for my eye cream. Um, I might figure out a different way to take this, but honestly, I feel like it fits so perfectly in here. I might as well just leave it in the container that it comes in. This is my favorite eye cream at the moment. I can't live without it. I put it on morning, night, before I do my makeup. It just makes everything apply so much more seamlessly. It is the Laneige Water Bank Eye Gel. And in this compartment right here, I have two Benefit boxed powders. I have the Benefit Dallas Box Blush, which the mirror is broken, but if you guys watch my tutorials, you guys know I love this blush. It's almost gone, but I'm still gonna take it with me just in case I decide to wear it. And then I also have the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, my favorite bronzer at the moment, aside from the Physicians Formula One, which I'm actually taking that one too, but I have been loving the Hoola Bronzer for my nose contour and everything, just all around contour, it's so amazing, and just bronzing up the skin. And in this last compartment right here, I just have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer, it's such a great drugstore bronzer. And I also have my favorite highlighter at the moment. It definitely wasn't too difficult for me to decide what highlighter I wanted to bring with me on this trip because I've literally only been using this highlighter, the Anastasia and Amarizi highlighter. It's so amazing. And lastly, in this compartment, I just have some Laura Mercier powder if it wants to come out. I literally force these things in here, but they do fit perfectly. And I would rather them be tight than, you know, rolling around. So lastly, in that compartment, I of course have to bring my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my face. So that is pretty much it for everything that is in this section and my brushes. But I'm lastly gonna show you guys what I have kept in the zipper right here. So the first thing that I have are some Q-tips wrapped around with a elastic because I figured I might need some Q-tips and we're staying in an Airbnb and they might not have Q-tips, so I'm bringing some of my own. I also have three lip liners that I'm taking with me. I have MAC Whirl. I also have Kat Von D, a go-go. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this one, but you never know, I might. I've been loving that lip color lately. And I also have Exposed by Kylie Cosmetics. I also have a sharpener in case I need to sharpen an eyeliner or a lip liner. I also have this eyeliner from Pixie. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen in case I wanna line my waterline or my tight line. And I of course have to bring my eyebrow pencil. This one is the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. I have two Sigma products. I have the Sigma Sinuosity Lash Mascara right here. And I also have the Sigma Liquid Wicked Pen Eyeliner. 
I have some tools back here as well. I have some eyebrow scissors because you never know, I might need some eyebrow scissors. Um, I also have this lash applicator from Red Cherry Lashes. You could basically just use tweezers, but I personally like these better. I don't know if you can see what it looks like exactly, but they're really convenient to apply lashes with. I also have some Tweezer Man tweezers, of course, in case I need them. And then I believe the rest is all lipstick. So the first one that I have is a Red Velvet Velveteen from Lime Crime. This is my go-to red lipstick. And I always bring it just in case I want a red lipstick. This is my go-to. I also have this bright, bright orange lipstick, which honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tolerate wearing because it's so drying, but I thought I'd bring it just in case just because the color is so pretty. It's from Kat Von D and it's in the shade A Go Go. And then I basically just have a bunch of nude lipsticks that look almost exactly the same, but I swear they're all different and I need all of them, um, including that other KKW lipstick that I showed you guys earlier that was just kind of packed in there randomly. So these are all the rest of the lipsticks I'm bringing. Um, I'm sure I have a bunch more nude lipsticks that look exactly like these, but for some reason I tell myself that I need six shades of slightly different nudes, but if you're a nude lover, then you know that they're all so different, right? <laughs> but I do have four from Kylie Cosmetics. I have another KKW lipstick. This one is in the shade Kimberly. I also have a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Dolce K. This is a matte liquid lipstick as well in the shade Exposed. And also one of my favorite Kylie Cosmetics glosses. It is in the shade Literally. I have a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick as well. These are probably the most comfortable to wear aside from the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. But this one is in the shade Venus. Probably my favorite nude ever, the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. I'm also running super low on it, so I need to get a new one, but I absolutely love this nude lipstick. And lastly, of course, I have to bring my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I can wear this by itself and it's stunning, or I can layer it on top of literally any of those lipsticks other than the gloss, of course, but it can go over any lipstick and make a lip look glossy and stunning, so I had to bring this as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I did pretty well, right? It's not too crazy. I literally knew that I was gonna forget to mention this because it wasn't in my bag, but I'm gonna be bringing one eyeshadow palette with me. It is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This palette honestly just has everything that I would need to create any eye look that I would want. Obviously, it doesn't fit in my makeup bag, unfortunately, but it's pretty easy to travel with considering it's pretty flat and thin and I'll just put it in between some clothes so it's nice and safe or maybe even take it with me onto the plane in my carry-on just so I make sure. But this is the one eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be taking with me. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys learned some tips and things to put in your travel makeup bag. Also, definitely be looking forward to a few LA vlogs to come. If you guys did like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. Also hit the bell icon if you guys want to be notified every single time I upload a new video. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I hope to see you guys next time.